The belt loop binder works on the Juki cover hem machines. This binder will help you achieve professional looking belt loops that you can use in your projects. So let's look at how to attach this to your machine. This is the actual binder. You also have the mounting plate and if you will locate the two flat head screws that look like this, we're going to use those to mount this plate. There are, first of all, you want to make sure that you have the mounting plate turned correctly so that you have the recessed holes there. If you turn it the other way, you do not have the area that the screws will countersink down into the plate. We're going to be using the top two holes right here to attach our plate. So we're going to lay that down, <coughs> line this up, so that those screw holes in here line up with the holes in the mounting plate. You're going to be using a Phillips head screwdriver. I have mine magnetized so I can pick the screw up. Place the screw in the area. Place the other one in there and we are just going to Tighten these down in there to hold this mounting plate on. Just snug these up. Don't over tighten. And now we are ready to attach the binder to the mounting plate. We're going to do that with the other two screws and the washers. The washers are going to go underneath the binder between the screw and the mounting plate. We're also going to be using these two holes to attach our binder to the mounting plate. So we're going to set the binder there, put the washer underneath there, take the other washer. Now we're going to take the screws We're also using a Phillips head screwdriver for this. Attach the first screw. Don't tighten it down yet. Make sure the washer is between the mounting plate and the binder. Take the other screw and attach it. and tighten it down there. You want to pay attention that the feed dogs are not interfering with the tip here. So you can see my feed dogs start right here and the tip is here. So now I can push this up so that this is right in front of my feed dogs. Right there's my feed dogs and there's the tip of the binder. Once you have it in place, tighten the screws down. Now we're ready to cut our fabric and run it through the binder to make our belt loops. So we're going to cut our fabric about three quarters wide. You want to make it a little bit smaller, a few threads smaller than three quarters because we want this fabric to fit in this slot and we want it to go through and feed smoothly. So by cutting that just a little shy of the three quarter mark, it's going to slide through the belt loop binder. You also want to cut your fabric longer than needed because we're going to pull this through to the back and pull it out the back so that we have it already starting to turn when we make our belt loops. Now we're ready to load our fabric into the belt loop binder. Make sure that the right side is facing up and you're just going to put it into the binder and I like to use something pointed like either a stiletto 
or the end of your seam ripper just to get that to pull through to the back a little bit. And then you want to pull this underneath the foot and to the back about a half inch or an inch. You want to make sure that these edges are being rolled under. That's what's going to give us our our belt loop by rolling those edges under. Make sure that your differential feed is set at normal and that your stitch length is set at normal, which is about two and a half. Lower the presser foot. I also have the machine set up for a two thread wide seam. That seems to accommodate the belt loop binder the best and gives you those nice even stitches on the, both sides. Once you have that loaded, You're now going to just sew, letting the fabric feed. The binder and the foot will guide it. And here you have your belt loop binders, all completed and ready to be used in your project.